507 Super Talk 997 WTN. Good morning to your friends. Mm-mm-mm. How's your morning going? It's been a good morning for uh, Donald Trump. Bad morning for Nikki Haley. Just say it just okay. And I think that Vivek Ramaswamy really coming out a winner last night in Iowa. Going to get to all of those things and a whole lot more. But yes, it was a resounding victory for the former president last night. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. I'm not going to tell you, he uh, coming in, as you've no doubt heard the news, uh, Ken Weaver was reporting it. Last night in the all-important Iowa caucus, uh, the former president coming in at 51%. Now, a lot of folks were saying, a lot of people in the media, they were starting to plant the seeds. You know, Donald Trump, you know, he may not uh, get to 50%, and supposedly that was supposed to be some big uh, talking point for Nikki Haley and the Trump detractors was, well, he didn't get, you know, the majority of the voters there in Iowa. Donald Trump, huge victory Huge margin, 51% of the vote there in the Iowa caucus. Ron DeSantis, by the way, coming in second place at 21%. Nikki Haley coming in third at 19%. Wait till you hear the spin from Nikki Haley. So I've got that for you. And again, Vivek Ramaswamy, who is now out, he decided to drop out of the race last night. He came in with 8% of the vote last night. So, you know, one of the uh, interesting things I thought was the former president, uh, Trump, saying that, you know, it, it's now time for the American people to come together. And I really think this is time now for everybody, our country, to come together. We want to come together, uh, whether it's Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. It would be so nice if we could come together and straighten out the world and straighten out the problems and straighten out all of the death and destruction that we're witnessing. That's yep. practically never been like this. It's uh, just so important. And I want to make that a very big part of our message. We're going to come together. It's going to happen soon, too. It's going to happen soon. All right. So uh, let me let me ask you a question. How long do you think that message is going to last? And, and please don't get me wrong. I firmly believe that Donald Trump means that by... You know, every every ounce of his uh, of, of his fiber of his being, I think that Donald Trump, his message wants to be he wants his message to be. Let's all come together. Here's the problem, though. The problem is that when you're the only one that feels like that, when it's, you know, two sides or multiple sides and you've got, you know, shots being fired in, in any different direction. And you're the only guy that is up there raising your hand saying, let's all come together. Well, then, you know, that request for peace and that request for coming together is going to be short lived because I guarantee you that the shots are going to keep coming against Donald Trump. And you heard him, you know, whether you are a Trumper, a never Trumper, whether you're a liberal or progressive, a member of the media, whatever it is, he wants everybody to come together. That's just not going to happen. I believe that he means it. I believe that he is sincere. I just, I, I don't believe that that's going to happen. And here's the thing that I would also say, because let's face it, Donald Trump is really shrewd. He knows the attacks from the left are going to keep coming. He knows that. And so he's saying that, knowing darn right well and good that that's really not going to come to reality because let's face it he did say the same thing after he won in 2016 and as he was making that victory speech in 2016 as he was doing that the democrats were planning on ways to impeach the president that very moment and so don't get me wrong i love the message of donald trump i really do i just don't believe that it's reality moving on Trump has a long way to go. Up next is New Hampshire, where, you know, it's interesting when you look at the numbers in New Hampshire, because let's all be honest. I mean, we knew that Trump was going to do well in Iowa. We didn't really know how well, but it just depends now on what numbers you believe when it comes to New Hampshire coming up next. Iowa, Iowa, we saw where the polling was and the polling by and large matched what the actual vote was in the caucus. Uh, New Hampshire, it, it does show a bit of a different story, again, depending on the polling. 
Some polling shows that he and Nikki Haley are both tied at 40 percent. Other polling shows not quite. We'll get into that. Ramaswamy, by the way, in New Hampshire is polling at 8 percent. DeSantis is polling at 5 percent. Again, depending on on the polling that you're referring to. But here's the thing with Ramaswamy out, then what does that ultimately mean? What that means, I believe, is that that Ramaswamy vote, that Ramaswamy support will go to Donald Trump. Here's more from Trump's. I thought it was a great speech last night where he did actually congratulate uh, Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis as uh, they both battled for second place. I want to congratulate Ron and Nikki for having a, a good a good time together. We're all having a good time together. And uh, I think they both actually did very well. I really do. I think they both did very well. We don't even know what the outcome of second place is. I, I don't think Nikki Haley did very well. She was desperate to come in second place. She falls to third place at 19 percent. Ron DeSantis. I, I think this is a big victory for DeSantis because he managed to hang on. But again, it is a a far different uh, look for him as he heads into New Hampshire where he does not look good as far as the polling goes. And when you look at the money that was spent, and we'll get into the money, but when you look at the money that DeSantis spent in Iowa only to come in, you know, second place at 21% of the vote, but what he's hoping is that that will catapult him into some sort of momentum. But the bottom line is for Donald Trump last night is the speech was a, a really good speech, He did talk a lot about unity. He did speak a lot about, you know, trying to come together as a nation, which, by the way, again, it's easy to do when you are the winner. But I thought that his speech was great, especially knowing what the left is going to continue uh, to do. One of the big questions is, what will this do for Nikki Haley and her campaign? I think she's wounded. No, I don't think she's going to. You know, I don't I don't think that she's going to drop out by any stretch of the imagination imagination. I think that DeSantis uh, people are still sort of on campaign watch for him to watch how long he's going to go. Ron DeSantis. But we'll have to see how he does in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, Let's talk about Nikki Haley last night. Now, the reason why I think that she is the big loser is because of the fact that we spoke yesterday at great length about candidate enthusiasm. Uh, remember that. Well, a lot of people, clearly, they just decided that they were not going to come out for uh, Nikki Haley. And I believe the reason for that is because people just aren't excited about Nikki Haley. You know who people are excited about? Donald Trump. I think more people were excited, quite frankly, uh, by and large, with uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. I think Ramaswamy supporters are more enthusiastic about him than Nikki Haley supporters are enthusiastic about her. Remember what we talked about yesterday. We spoke about the fact that a lot of Nikki Haley supporters are Democrats and independents. So that is why a lot of these folks basically in Iowa either stayed home. She just didn't have the support. And I think that her support in Iowa, I think that it was made of sand. You know what I'm talking about, where there just there wasn't a big base of support. And that certainly does show in the final numbers with Donald Trump in Iowa. I woke up, you know, early this morning, Trump at 51 percent over that 50 percent benchmark at DeSantis at 21 percent, Haley at 19 percent, Vivek Ramaswamy at 8 percent as well. It is clear, obviously, that Donald Trump is going to be the nominee. So with Vivek out and throwing his support behind Donald Trump, that means that when DeSantis inevitably drops out, like it or not, DeSantis is going to drop out. A good amount, I believe, of that DeSantis support is going to go to Donald Trump because DeSantis has said that he will support Donald Trump if he ultimately does uh, drop out. Now, you look at the money spent. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, this is this is part of the story, I think, is that for Nikki Haley, uh, supporting Super PAC spent almost thirty one million dollars on TV in Iowa. She herself spent over eh, five, six million dollars, depending on what you read. And, and so she spent a lot of money for third place. 
and a disappointing third place. DeSantis Super PAC spent about $31 million on television in Iowa and uh, about 3 to $4 million as well from his actual campaign. And they famously went to every single county in the state. And they came in second place. Nikki Haley, by the way, she won one county or one district and she won that one district by one vote. That is how uh, well or not well Nikki Haley did. You know, I do believe that uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump to Vivek real quick. Because I believe that Vivek actually uh, came out. I know that he dropped out. And I know that he, you know, came in fourth with 8% of the vote in Iowa. But I think that for a guy that literally came out of nowhere... I think that he actually did pretty darn good, as a matter of fact. He, he ultimately, though, uh, decided to drop out. And uh, he, he, when he dropped out, and this is part of his speech last night, he dropped out and he had some very conciliatory things to say. We are going to suspend this presidential campaign. And this is going to have to be, there is no path for me to be the next president absent things that we don't want to see happen in this country. And I think that I am very worried for our country. I think we are skating on thin ice as a nation. And I'm also making the decision that this has to be an America first candidate in that White House. As I've said since the beginning, there are two America first candidates in this race. And earlier tonight, I called Donald Trump to tell him that I congratulate him on his victory. And now going forward, he will have my full endorsement for the presidency. And I think we're going to do the right thing for this country. Yeah, and, and I think that Vivek is doing the right thing. And, and he clearly reads the writing on the wall. And, you know, the uh, former president, Donald Trump, said some very nice things about uh, Vivek Ramaswamy on Ramaswamy's way out. And clearly, I think that my not so bold prediction is that I think that Vivek Ramaswamy, not only does he have a very big future within the Republican Party, but I also believe that he's going to be a very big part of Donald Trump's campaign moving forward.